oh my god i cannot believe all of the great stuff that i have to unbox with you all today got some really great stuff from saint laurent prada and gucci so i am just like giddy with excitement right now and uh for those of you that have been following along on my channel you all know that i've been looking for some really fun you know like going out outfits warm weather outfits, um, things like that to wear on a couple of trips that I have coming up to uh, Las Vegas, Miami, and LA because, you know, let's be real, the weather there is totally different than what I have in San Francisco. So I want to enjoy the trips, treat myself, you know, and just get like some fun clothes to wear. So I got all of these items from the San Francisco, you know, premium luxury designer outlets, which aren't actually in San Francisco. They're like an hour outside of the city in Livermore. And in true fashion, I feel like when you go to the outlets, like you don't necessarily get to go looking for something specific. You gotta kind of get what you're given. And so I got a lot of great things, not exactly the going out outfits that I wanted, but a lot of these are things that I can still take with me on those trips, things that I will use. And so I am so excited to unbox them with you. Now let's get started with this little baby here from Saint Laurent. And yes, this is a pair of beautiful shoes. So. One second. So here I have an absolutely beautiful pair of the Saint Laurent Anouk sandals in what they call this beautiful pearl color. So these are in a really beautiful smooth leather here. And actually let me take the, the stuffing out so you can see them more properly. But here's what the shoes look like. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. Now, even though I feel like you could wear these out in the evening, I actually see these as more of like a daytime shoe, something that like I would pair with a cute little dress to, you know, go out to eat or go shopping or something like that with friends. So I am really loving this shoe and I was so surprised at how comfortable it is. And I also really like that it has an ankle strap because like, because I'm going on trips, I know I'm probably gonna be having a good time indulging a little bit in some festivities. So an ankle strap always helps make sure that I kind of like keep my act together. So let me show you the full pair together. So here is the full pair. And I really just am in love with these. I mean, in addition to just like the beautiful look and the cute little bow on the front, I also love that the heel height is not too high. So that's another reason that I feel like these are a good like everyday shoe, not like everyday shoe, but we'll call them like a daytime shoe because they're not so high. And so like you can wear them like walking around, be bopping around and like they're not gonna make your feet hurt. So super excited about this pair. Now I did get this pair for seriously like the deal of the century. So these shoes originally retail for $9.95 and I got them for $399. Ah! <laughs> I'm so happy about that. I feel like the Saint Laurent outlet here in Livermore seriously has incredible deals. So if you're in the area, I really and truly recommend going. So that's this pair. Let me get this out of the way and we'll get on to the next one. Yes, I did get another pair of shoes from Saint Laurent and you are totally gonna laugh when I show you what they are considering what we just looked at. So here we have a pair of <laughs> the exact same shoes. Yes, I literally bought the same style of shoes, but I bought them in two different colorways. You know, I normally don't do that, but I felt like this pair of shoes was just too special to give up because they were so comfortable. And I like them because I also do feel like they're a pretty much like all purpose evening shoe. I feel like the first ones that we looked at, the pearl ones are more of like a daytime shoe. And I see these as more of like an evening shoe, like going out to dinner, going out like to a bar, going out clubbing, whatever. And also these can be really dressed up. So I feel like these would actually be a really great shoe to wear for weddings or other special occasions. I do only have a couple other pairs of like luxury designer, like strappy open toe shoes, but they're all quite plain. And so I love that these have like a little bit more visual interest. And also these are snakeskin. 
So I wasn't sure if they were like, like Python embossed or like actual Python, but I'm 99% certain like it says on the label, like their air snake skin, which is like very similar to a Python skin. So I think these are snake skin shoes, which I'm so excited about. Now this pair costs a little bit more than the pearl pair, obviously because they're like metallic and metallic always costs a little bit more. So this pair was actually $489, but I totally think it's worth the money. Let me grab the other shoe so you can see the whole pair together. So here is the full pair with that really cute little bow detail, but I like that the bow is not like overly feminine. It's not like, you know, those like big floppy bows. This is like a cute stylized little bow. And again, you know, it's got the nice heel height that, I mean, it's high, but it's not too high and it's got the ankle strap, so. I'm so excited about both of these pairs of shoes. I know it was extra to buy the same pair of shoes in two different colorways, but like when you find something you like at a great price, might as well stock up on it. Now we are going to open up a little something something from Prada. And this is actually something that I have been looking for because I have one and I've had it for about 10 years and it needed some serious replacing like you know, the little like logo was falling off and it just, it was looking real rough. And so I've been looking at other brands to see if I can find one that I like. And honestly, I just decided to replace it with the one that I already have because the one that I already have is perfect. It held up so well for almost 10 years. So let's see what it is. So you can probably tell if you watch the shopping vlog, but I got, a Prada cosmetic case. Now, let me show you the one that it's replacing and you all are going to laugh. <gasps> oh my God, look at how like sad and pathetic this one is. But like I said, you know, I've had this one for almost 10 years, so it has served me well, but this one's falling apart. So it is time to go. But if you think about my cost per wear, considering I use this literally every single day, this was such a good investment. Now, the only difference between that one and this one is that I did actually decide to go a size up and go with the larger of the two. Um, and honestly, that's just because like in my elder age, I've been using a lot more skincare products, you know, a lot more like serums, oils, face creams, things like that. And so, you know, honestly, like my old makeup bag was getting pretty full. So I decided a bigger size would probably be the right route to go. And I just love the Prada ones. I mean, I know that a lot of people love like the Louis Vuitton cosmetic cases or Chanel. I've even seen like some Celine ones, but I love the Prada ones because they can be washed. I mean, honestly, like I am never going to have a leather cosmetic case that does not have like a washable interior. And so these, you can literally just like throw them in the washing machine. I honestly, it doesn't get any better than that. And I mean, with makeup, like whose makeup doesn't crumble all over the inside of their makeup bag. So very happy about this one. I did pay $250 for this size, which is such a good deal because if you buy the version of this from the actual like proper Prada store, and I think the only difference is that one actually has like an additional pocket on it, it's $550. <laughs> so the difference between the regular Prada one and the outlet one is like a little like decorative pro like pocket on the outside. Now, for those of you that don't know as much about outlets, Outlets are really interesting because they get a mix of inventory. So a lot of outlets started because brands obviously have like excess inventory at the end of a particular season, you know, something that had, they had extra of that they needed to sell on. So they created outlets to kind of like, you know, sell through that additional inventory. But after outlets got started, a lot of brands got really smart and they were like, hey, I could actually create certain products specifically for my outlet customers that are, you know, at a reduced price point, but still have that great craftsmanship, craftsmanship of the, you know, the main brand. And so Prada has done this. So when you're in the Prada store, it's actually really helpful to ask the SA if the item that you're buying is either like, you know, a true outlet style, or is it a boutique style that, you know, they had extra of and they kind of then transferred it to the outlet. My essay actually told me though, that when the folks are working on creating the style, so whether it's machine made, handmade, whatever, the designers and the product development folks don't actually know if they're designing a style for outlet or for the main product store. 
And I really like that because that like added layer of mystery makes sure that I think that like, the artisans and the manufacturing folks continue to put like the highest level of quality into the products that they're designing. And it allows you to get an amazing item at like a little bit of a lower cost. So really happy that I got this one for like half off retail considering this was 250 and the one in the regular store is like 550. Now, next up we have something from Gucci that is something that I have wanted for such a long time. Or I mean like I've wanted one of these. I didn't have like a specific one in mind, but honestly they are just so expensive from Gucci that I just like never actively pursued it. And so I was so happy as I was there, literally they were like closing the store down and I saw this, I was like, oh my God, wait, ah, uh, like my prayers have been answered. Not prayers, you know what I mean? It's not that serious, but very excited about this. So I got it from Gucci. This beautiful dusty rose pink cardigan. Now I think it's a bit wrinkled cause it got a kind of like, you know, smushed in the bag, but this cardigan is absolutely beautiful. And even though I'm not a big pink wearer, I have been wanting to incorporate more color into my wardrobe. And I feel like a cardigan is a really good way to do that. Also, I love this cardigan because it's not like so fitted. This is actually like a bit of a baggier cardigan. So I can kind of, if I want, either just like put like a little camisole underneath it, button it up, wear it on its own, or actually I could layer it with like a proper like long sleeve shirt underneath. So I think that this will be great. I will also get a ton of use out of it because like I'm in San Francisco and it's always cold. So, so happy about this. And I bought this for $340, which is amazing because you cannot purchase a Gucci cardigan for less than $1,000. It's simply like it isn't available. Like they don't sell them for less than $1,000. So I think it's really cute. I love that it's got, you know, like little pockets up front and that it's got like, you know, a little close up on like the GG logo. So overall, super happy about this one. And this kind of aligns with one of my luxury goals that I've told you all about that I want to get more luxury ready to wear. So very happy to have this in my wardrobe. Now we are on to the last and arguably my favorite thing that I got on my shopping trip. <laughs> and yes, it's another pair of shoes from Saint Laurent. I know, I, I, I don't know. You know what, when you find stuff you like, like you gotta get it. This is such a special pair of shoes. And you all know, like I'm pretty classic, like a mix of like classic and contemporary in terms of my style. And so a lot of my stuff is like stuff that I can wear forever, like stuff that I'm always gonna have. And so I always like try to maximize like my cost per wear. So I try to get things that will match like a lot of different outfits. And honestly, I just saw this pair and it was so special. I was like, I wanna get these for Las Vegas. Like I want to wear these out. Like these are going to be the centerpiece of my outfit. And you know, these, I just totally went like outside of what I normally do. And it's fun to do that. Like I'm, I'm happy to have this like fun of like really dressy, really out there shoes or out there for me, you know? I, I'm just really excited about them. And it was so funny because when I put them on, like everyone who was not just like working in the store, but even like, like other customers were like, you have to get those. If you don't get those, you are insane. So let me show you the pair of shoes. So here we have a pair of the Sue, I guess they're sandals, honestly, because they're so open. Now I know it's kind of like tough to tell. So like I need you to use your imagination here, but you see that the gold will go up and around my foot. And then the ankle strap that's kind of wrapped around here, this goes around my ankle at the top. These are like the hottest shoes ever. They are so sexy. And what's funny is that normally, like in order for me to find a shoe, like what I think to be like sexy and everyone's definition of sexy is different, right? But for what I think is sexy, normally I like it to have like a really skinny heel, which this actually has a thicker heel, but because of everything going on here, I feel like this is like such a hot shoe. So I am so excited. Oh, let me see if I can like take the stuffing out and kind of like put my hand in to show you what it will look like. I know this looks a little crazy, but like, can you kind of see it? Can you imagine what it looks like? I'm not even gonna try and pull both out to show you cause it would just look like a mess with all these straps everywhere. But 
I will include like a little, you know, something, something of me wearing them so you can get the general idea of what they will look like. So what do you think of these? I am just so excited about all the things that I got, but I definitely want to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. The only problem is that I still didn't get the clothes that I needed for my trip. So I still have a little bit of last minute shopping to do, but fingers crossed I'll be able to find some cute little like dresses to wear on vacation. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. And if you did, I would love it if you could just give this video a little like, just give it a little thumbs up down in the corner below. And if you haven't already, what are you doing? You need to subscribe to my channel. So that way you can get all my latest content about all things shopping, including lots of unboxings delivered straight to you. My name is Lily. Thank you again for watching and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye everyone.